The tremendous energy and turbulence of the great red spot generate these waves, which then travel upward, affecting the dynamics of the atmosphere. JWST observations have shown that the atmospheric structures over the great red spot consist of different heights, with some regions emitting more infrared light due to the presence of hydrogen in Jupiter's ionosphere. This differentiation in heights and emission is a direct result of the influence of gravitational waves. The region above the great red spot is where Jupiter's lower atmosphere meets its magnetic field much like Earth's atmosphere meets the solar wind, resulting in spectacular auroras. On Jupiter, this interaction is further complicated by volcanic material from Io, the most volcanically active body in our solar system. These materials, combined with charged particles from the Sun, fuel the Jupiterian auroras and contribute to the complex atmosphere dynamics that we observe. Further study of these gravitational waves is expected to provide a deeper understanding of the energy distribution across Jupiter and enhance our understanding of its atmospheric processes. Future missions, such as the European Space Agency's Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, or JUICE, will build on these findings. Launched in 2023, JUICE should reach Jupiter by 2031 where it'll make detailed observations of the planet and its ocean-bearing moons.